welcome back to another video if you're new to my channel welcome in this video i'm going to be reviewing another model one's color cube this one is titled color confidence and it's a part of their celebrity collaborations so i already reviewed the other two celebrity collaborations and i can leave those videos linked in the cards and description box for anyone who wants to check it out but yeah the color cubes come with nine different colors it also comes with this compact brush their signature little mini brush it's so cute Cute, and you just stick the cap on the end and it becomes a full size brush but yeah, I'm just gonna jump right into it so just opening up the color cube it does have this over it and this is like the most satisfying part peeling it off and seeing the color reveal so yeah I thought these colors were super cute definitely gave fall vibes so I'm just gonna go in and swatch them really quick and then I'll check back in Once I was finished watching the nail colors, I just went in and cut down my nail tips that I'm going to use to make my press on set. So these are the full cover 3XL coffin tips. I just cut them down a little bit and just filed the free edge. And then also I went ahead and picked out five of the colors that I want to use um, to do my design. And I'm just going in with my base, which is going to be a nude color um, because I'm doing French tip on each nail. So I'm just going in with this pink jelly nude as my base and then I'm going to be putting a slightly darker pink over that and then topping it off with it's almost like an orangish type of shade of jelly color but it turned out super cute I was trying to give like a fall vibe so I really wanted the nude to match that so that's why I love having a ton of different jelly colors especially when they're like shades of pink and orange because you can make so many different uh, variations of base coats um, or nudes that you can use as your base for your French tip so yeah just gonna go in and do that here in between each coat and then I'll check back in
Now that I have my jelly nude color exactly how I want it, I went ahead and cured that final coat in the lamp. And now I'm going to go on to do my French tip. So this is the method that I always use when doing French tip nails with gel polish. In my opinion, it's the easiest. It's kind of hard to use like a line brush and paint on a French tip perfectly. So doing this kind of like reverse French method is just super easy. You start off by putting your French tip color down and you want to go all the way down on the sides of the nail and then on the center you don't really have to go that far down just wherever you kind of want your French tip to stop in the very center of the French. So I'm just going to go in and do different colors on each nail, a different color on each nail and then I'll check back in once I'm showing how to like carve out the smile line. Alrighty, now it's time to carve out the French tip. So I did just go ahead and dip the brush into some alcohol, lightly tapped it on the uh, lint-free cloth that I use, or lint-free lint pads that I use. And then I just go in and wipe away some of the gel polish. And I just kind of start in the center and then work my way towards the sides of the nail. And it typically gives a nice crisp line. So you just want to keep, every time you swipe, um, you want to just go ahead and wipe your brush off, dip into some alcohol again. Make sure it's not too much alcohol on the brush. You don't want it to be like super runny, but just enough to really kind of wipe away some of the gel polish. So yeah, I'm just going to keep doing that on each of the nails. Um, sometimes, depending on the color you use, I think when I get to the ring finger, which is like the burgundy color, typically reds and burgundies they kind of stain a little bit um so it you have to like use a little bit more pressure when wiping it away or sometimes you can still kind of see it over your natural nail bed so yeah just want to go in and wipe all of the gel polish away except for of course the french tip and then just cure it in the lamp and you have perfect french tip nails every time
So once I have my French tip fully cured, I'm just going in and top coating all of the nails. And that's pretty much it for this design. When doing press on nails, it helps to kind of go back in and file the very tip of the nail also. Just because it can kind of lose its shape a little bit. So I did go in and do that off camera. But yeah, I'm just going to top coat all of the nails. Cure that in the lamp. File the tip. And then I just went ahead and applied them. And I think it looks super cute. It's a pretty simple design, but... I just really wanted to show the colors because I just think they're so pretty and so perfect for the fall. And yeah, I'm just super excited for the fall. I know I'm not the only person that feels that way. Like for me, I feel like spring and fall are the best seasons. I don't know. It's just perfect. Not too hot, not too cold. But yeah, this is the finished look once I had them pressed on. And I'm glad I used the color that I did on the thumb um, on the thumb because I feel like it's really similar to the new color that I decided to use. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!